If you're looking for a no machine versus Parsec comparison from someone who's actually used both, here's my honest take based on real world experience. I've spent weeks bouncing between these two for both personal projects and light work related stuff. And while they both technically fall under the same remote desktop umbrella, they feel totally different in how they're built and who they're built for. I started with no machine mostly because it was free for personal use and didn't require any complicated licensing. Setup was refreshingly easy, just installed it on my machines, and it instantly found my other device on the network. It's very no frills, not particularly pretty, but it works. It covers pretty much everything you'd expect. Full remote access, clipboard syncing, two-way file transfer, remote reboot, remote printing, session recording, and even blanking the host screen for privacy. It's surprisingly full featured. It also runs across all the major platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, even Ubuntu, and it doesn't choke under pressure. I've used it to stream local video content to my phone, and it held up with decent responsiveness over a 50 megabias connection. But that's also kind of where no machine hits a limit. The interface feels dated. There's no cloud integration or streamlined team collaboration features, unless you step into their paid enterprise plans, which started around $44.50 per year per desktop. And even then, it's still geared more toward IT or sysadmin style usage, not creative or real-time collaborative work. That's where Parsec was a totally different experience for me. It felt like it was built by gamers for gamers. The first time I used it, the difference in latency was noticeable. Parsec has ultra-low latency and crisp video quality that makes remote desktop use actually pleasant. I tried running a graphics-heavy project remotely, and the responsiveness felt close to native. Parsec's performance metrics, browser-based access, and multi-window control were slick and just made everything feel modern and efficient. Even if you're using it on a weaker device, it somehow runs buttery smooth. Parsec also has pricing that makes sense depending on how you're using it. For casual users, it's $10 per month under the Warp plan, and for teams, it's $35 per month. Both plans come with solid collaboration tools like shared sessions, in-session chat, screen sharing with control, and video conferencing. You can tell it's meant for real-time work or even remote pair programming and design collaboration. I wouldn't say it's meant for full enterprise IT control like no machine is, but for creatives or distributed teams who need to work closely, it absolutely shines. One thing I appreciated was that both tools support all the same platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and both offer web and on-prem deployment, but Parsec feels more plug and play in the browser. It's ideal when you don't want to deal with firewall headaches or router configs. Support-wise, Parsec's documentation is better for a modern SaaS tool, but honestly, neither gave me reason to contact support. No Machines community forums are pretty active and their knowledge base got me out of every jam I hit. Still, Parsec's UI is more intuitive, so I found myself needing less help in the first place. Overall, if I just need basic, secure, free remote desktop access like controlling my home PC while I'm traveling or transferring files, No Machine is more than enough. But if I'm doing anything where screen quality, ultra-low latency, or collaboration actually matters, like editing a video or gaming remotely with friends, Parsec is the one I reach for. They serve two different vibes. No Machine is your quiet, reliable tool that just works, while Parsec is the sleek, responsive setup that makes working or playing remotely actually enjoyable. I still have both installed, but honestly, I lean on Parsec way more these days.